Maze, maze. Asante sana, asante sana. Thank you for joining us for another classic episode of the Weekend Edition. I'm your host, Dr. Kingori. We have a great show lined up for you. Uh, everybody knows that this week, actually, Baba has never been so close to State House as he was this past Monday. He was just a stone throw away. <laughs> now, this, this past Monday, Kenyans took to the streets and also took the streets to protest the high cost of living. And this was like history repeating itself because Kenyans are once again witnessed Tomboya Kiondolewa. <laughs> the police did their best to make sure that there was limited access to the CBD and the roads leading to State House were completely blocked. And here's where I think the government was really exposed in terms of wastage of resources. Why, why do you need all these people if the idea was to block Raila from accessing State House? Why use a thousand people a thousand police officers for work that can be done by one man. <laughs> now, uh, a, lot, a lot of interesting scenes came from Monday's protest. One of my favorite has to be this guy, Mwenyalishikuwa na, na polisi, akiwa na sufuria na muiko, uko kisumu, alafa kambia polisi, ati hiyo ni password, just in case apatani na protesters. <laughs> So, the story like our jokes, but then we found out that that was actually true. Kuna, kuna wase, how, kuna wase awaku wa protesters. Lakini, kuna place ukipita, lazima ungebeba mawe, ndio ublending. Usikuwe harassed, na wase wana demonstrate. Just think about that. Imagine, ukikutana na mtu kwa giza, alafa kutulea kisu, wakombie, leta kila kitu kwa nae. Alafa kisha mpia simu, wakombie, ah, relax bro, unajua. Mi hata siyo muizi. But your security mekuwa mbaya sana, sikuwe, hata simu ni mekunyanganya, ndio, likikutana wezi pale mbele, ni wambie mini mmoja wao. Can you? Can you imagine that? Alafu, hapo kwa kubeba mawe kama password, shida inakujia. Shida inakujia mali, umekutana na polisi before kutane na protesters. Imagine kulala jela juu kwa na password ngumu. Ati makarawa wamekushika juu kwa na password ngumu kukrack. Na wa still, wa still, think about this. Uone polisi, alafu utupe mawe. Alafu kienda bele kidogo ukutane na protesters. So lazima ujitete, mazi aki mini mmoja wenu mwaja. <laughs> Ni vile ni mesa hau password. Now alafu, I don't know how, I didn't know how seriously people took stones until I saw this video ya msia kiosha mawe. Hello! Hi baba ya awa. Hello! Azimio Tivim! Azimio Tivim! Azimio Ria! Azimio Tela! Azimio Tela! As in, me, me jua uchumi iko vibaya if that's what we have now as precious stones. Now, <laughs> nimesikia, uh, nimambio walikuwa na ziosha so that they can take clean shots. Like, <laughs> Omana, nimepiga wapande mawe moja safi. <laughs> and this was meant to be a peaceful protest. Now, kunata video litoka before Monday where people were seen actually shopping for stones. Dani toka, Dani kal. Dani toka, Dani kal. Dani toka, Dani kal. Dani now, this has to be the literal definition of, because think about it, as you are unalipamawe, unarudishiwe mpaka balance, that has to be the literal definition of looking for change through stones. Now, <laughs> Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa has revealed that following the Monday protest, the country lost 2 billion shillings, to which Azimio team responded, let's make it 4 billion. Wakaongeza Thursday. Now, former, former Nairobi Governor Mike Sonko had actually gone to court to stop the Monday protest, and then the court told him to come on Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> that makes this the first time the judiciary is on record. Wakisema kesi badai. Iye ni kama kukol msi ati, ee maze buda maze, nitumia ata miambini maze nisipokuwa kula kitu ndakufanja. 
Sasa kwambia ah cheki buda wacha tuongee kesho. <laughs> Sasa hiyo ndio wacha tuongee kesho ya judiciary. You know what wacha tuongee kesho means? Now a section of Kenyans are still wondering what the end game of the protests is. Wengine wanasema baba anapoteza watu wake. This I think is unfair. Watu wa baba ndio wanapoteza watu. Kama sasa hii Tomboya Street iko umoja. <laughs> And the protests are part of Raila and his supporters' journey to Canaan. And, you know, to get to Canaan, you must cross the River Jordan. And that's why the police came with the water cannons. <laughs> but then the protesters pia wanaogopa maji. In other news, Nakuru Town was this week treated to a spectacle of two naked men who climbed a tree to preach before they were forced down uh, like 11 hours later. So basically, despite your mandamano to reduce the cost of living, what wa Nakuru tundi wali on a vitu zikishuka. Now, it's, it's interesting that the two gentlemen were also advocating for the rights of the police. I think that's the reason behind them getting naked. Walkwata kutetea polisi as commandos. <laughs> now the sad thing about this incident, na hii kitu sijikuwa nini, I don't even know how I feel about this. Like can you imagine that a crowd gathered kuona wanaume wawili wako uchi juu ya mti? We have a great show lined up for you. We are back on the other end of this short commercial break with one of the finest comedians in Kenya, an international rapper, Nam Shamba Bado and Evolve. Jasper Morome is joining us on the other end of this short commercial break. See you in a bit. Yo, welcome back to the weekend edition. I'm your host, Dr. Kingori Leo. Tukona guest of power sana, one of the finest comedians in the country. You love him. You know him from Chatting Show and various other platforms. Jasper Moroma is in the house. <laughs> ah. Karibu sana. San sana, man. Karibu. What love, my <laughs> What's happening, man? Yo, kitu ime kusaidia na nini by the way so far? Nini? Yo, 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 swag. Yes, Og. Unajua, unajua sio wacha kwanza unaweza washaimia sana na hiyo kitu. Ah, usitake jua. Usitake jua. Eh. Ah, umeitumia, umeia. Lakini hizi ni vitu za Nairobi. Sijui kama umeshai. Kwa nini amwela wangu hivi? Kwa nini amjui town? <laughs> What do you mean at jui town? Hapa hii hii mbwa hii mbwa mbwa inaishi yanga pale Keno. Mhm. <laughs> pale kutoka hapo kuenda hivyo, hiyo unarundi default settings. Sasa unapelekea na unani uyo uyo meru. Utachapwa. Uh, una chapwa juu ya huyo huyo. Ah, nice. Mm. Eh hey, hey, what, what's going on hapa? Hiyo. Hata kuna makanga amenuliza saa hii wewe. Na regret ku grow up eh? Wewe ni mwanafunzi mgani uko na mpaka watch na na Miwan. Yeah. Nikamwambia mimi ni cool kid. <laughs> <laughs> Nini me inspire hii idea kurudi back to them days kwa primary schools to be specific. Ni ati I strongly believe that growing up is a trap. <laughs> I believe that. Uh -huh. um, from time to time, I'm forced to grow up so that I pay my rent and do other things. Maybe speak to people. I just always answer as a kuingia kwa bank na balloon. Lakini deep down, that's what I want to do. Unaweza taka hiyo. Na inakusaidia like the fact that ukiva uniform kama hii kama flaji landlord wako ameyi kuja akakufungua kwambe ni itie babako. Kwanza hii hii inaisaidia mtu sana kwanza wakati wa maandamano. Sijui kama uliona mwanafunzi jana ameshikwa mkono hivi na askari. Ehe. Shida sasa ni uzo na ndevu. Na sasa kama ungekuwa unafanya comedy ungekuwa unafanya nini sasa hii? Ningekuwa nafuga. Ningekuwa mkulima. Like that that's hiyo ndio hiyo ndio kitu ina wait mse akiwa meru boys like boys kama wewe sasa hii mwenye haja kuja ku experience Nairobi akiwa ocha the only Nini, the scope of vitu wanazafanya, one of them ni kufuga, wanyama. No, 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 mi siongelei mtu mungine. Na jiongelelea. Mi liku wanapenda farming sana. Mpaka waleo. Kulima. Lazima ni bado niifanya. Na bado unafanya farming sa hii? Na likuwa na ngurue. Ika kakidu na apiwa. Ika chukulio, ili chukulio. Mse alihiba? Ah, buda ndi alichukua tu. 
mzae wako eh nikiwa kampu nikiwa kampu nilimwambia nataka laptop akaniuliza ni donga wapi akaniambia 31k akaniambia niko na niko na 15k hapa lakini naona wewe pia uko na nguruwe hapa naona hadi si nikamwambia uza anambia sawa nitauza hata hakuuza gumbe alikuwa na 31k lakini sasa zikakuwa zake oh so ali ali adopt nguruwe yako ali adopt ali kupiga tax relationship yako na mzao wako yuko aje by the way iko poa yeye uko fan wangu unajua sasa yeye pia yeye anakoga mwalimu na alikuwa ni mwalimu english na literature na alikuwa bado petro na madrama madrama so hizo ndizo vitu zake mzao hata ashaiandika columns kwa nisho okay eh so ni msee kizungu mbaya ni msee creative sana ni msee anaweza kuandikia anything na amei kufunza tulikuwa tunapitana hivi chua chua like as in na amei kwa the same school unasomea eh huko ndio nilienda mali alikuwa anafundisha how was that experience kukuwa shule yenye mzazi wako ni mwalimu it was hell it's not recommendable kwa sababu sasa staff staff wote wanajua wewe ni mtoto wake sasa wanajaribu kukungaria ndio wanyoroshe kijana ya beshte yake yao really sasa hata ukipiga coffee anakuambia wewe babako yeba <laughs> wewe pia huwezi kuwa tu ile natural huwezi kuwa wewe huwezi kuwa na tabia mbaya eh huwezi kuwa na tabia mbaya hiyo ni huwezi kuwa na tabia mbaya juu mzai wako mwenyewe pia alikuwa bad man ama hapana alikuwa tu bad man itazo ndio nasema mzai wako ah sio sio ah sio bad man ah sio alikuwa mnoma nasema kwa punishment alikuwa akuwa hapana akuwa alikuwa tu msemu cool then basi ulikuwa unaogopa nini kama anio unajua sasa kama budaka kwa area tu penye tu tumesema huwezi kuwa criminal hakuna hiyo hiyo freedom ulikuwa unataka kuwa criminal sialienda nikiwa form 3 kutoka hapo nikakuwa petty criminal mzai wako alipigwa transfer ukiwa form 3 eh alafu sasa wewe hapo ndio ukakuwa kutoka hapo sasa nikatawala alienda na deputy pia kaenda deputy alikuwa hivi tukabaki na mwingine so, kutawala inamaanisha si ni ile sasa mimi ndio niko kila mahali sasa so kwanza ndiye alikuwa betrono na drama sikuwa ingia kwa sababu sasa kitu kutane kutane na yeye huko hawezi so, elewa uh, una vo- na <laughs> <laughs> eh ah okay ni elewa eh, eh. eh. So nikaingia sasa by the time i think i think siku siku manage kuingia drama but nilingia music siku sure nilingia music eh and then eh, nikaanza biashara pia <laughs> nikiwa high school biashara nilikuwa nauza ngumu nikiwa shule eh kdf bro nilibaki nikakuwa tu criminal peti peti kushikwa shiko shati oh hiyo sio yako uja company wewe <laughs> eh na hiyo ni shule shule ya meru ulikuwa umelala ni huko meru shule ya Meru eh. na, na shule za Meru sema kama hiyo kukua unajua umekuwa mtoi wa ocha exclusive mm. what is the dating scene <laughs> what's the dating scene <laughs> like <laughs> <laughs> as in eh. <coughs> when ki yenye jipiwa so <laughs> what's the dating scene like eh. wase wa wase wa high school huko mm. Meru ulikuwa na dem the youngest the, the earliest ulikuwa na dem ulikuwa ukiwa the earliest ni, ni high school kwa sababu sasa unajua High school kulingana na culture. Hiyo ni after mzai wako atoke. No no no. Shule yetu ilikuwa boys so hii ni mambo ya home. Hii ni mambo ya tukifunga. Goja. Mambo ya wasichana unataka kujua si ndio? Zi as in nataka okay eh eh endelea. Mambo ya wasichana. generally speaking tukiwa shule by the time nafika form 3 huko bado ndio nilianza kuongea na tusichana. Before hapo nilikuwa shy shy kidogo. By the time zai wako alitoka ndio ulipata confidence eh. ya kuongea. Eh. Na si ndio ametoka niko sababu sasa niko form 3. By time ulikuwa usha kuanza kufuga dawari. Like ulikuwa na nguruwe hiyo time. Ah <laughs> pana hiyo ni after form 4. Okay. Eh. Apana hiyo story ilikuwa tu joke ilikuwa serious hivyo. Anaweza <laughs> anaweza yona niambie nguruwe zako kujie. <laughs> sasa eh, mimi madem ni after after uh, form after class 8 so just hapo kulingana culture yetu sasa ndio una unapigwa ile kitu ile kitu ukiwa nini eh sasa unajua ukishapita hiyo wewe ni mwanaume kivi yako kulingana kwetu kwetu sasa kuna hiyo ugangster mtu akishapitia sasa inabaki wewe hata nyumba yako iko huko wewe hata kupeleka high school na kuaga maanko zako lazima wa convince babako Babako anakuaga sha sema wewe wewe unatakaje unataka kwenda shule kama hutaki pia ni sawa jenga pale 
Una get? Like seriously. Eh, even hiyo ndio culture yameru. There is a population ya eh. wa say ukishamaliza class 8 ukisha eh so, wengi see most of the people most of the my so it's all of like Urudi. education or so after education kutoka hapo you make your decisions. Uh, okay. After after the career. Uh, mna confuse kana hii story. Like eh. <coughs> unasema after hii unapewa choice. Eh after hii wewe ni sasa ndio kusema. Ukishafanywa hii wewe sasa wewe ndio hata unaweza toka uende usiwei rudi hata unaweza oa unaweza oa ukishapona unaweza kuwa na kierere ya kuoa akumalize usiende haraka sana ehe kutoka hapo sasa ni unaingia kampo sasa ukiwa high school unaona gawe ni mwanaume until ujipata kampo bro maisha ni ngumu mimi kwanza nilikuwa na kagikomba mimi nilikuwa nasomea zitek program ya jkwat yeah um, nil, nilikuwa naishi gikomba kwa sababu sasa classes zilikuwa tao eh hey, maisha ilininyorosha hapo hapo maisha ilikuwa serious mbona kila msio kampu ya the same thing maisha ilikuwa bro hapo <laughs> unaweza kufa unaweza daddy Eh hey, unapiga ngo hadi na mamako uko sawa? Niko sawa. <laughs> Unakula? Una eh hey, tunakula huko. Ka... <laughs> Karibu ni shibe. Ni nini nilikuwa nafanya maisha ikuwe hard specifically because almost everyone akona the same story. Mimi sasa unajua sasa eh, ka, kama mimi sasa sikuwa please kama KU unajua KU sasa is, uh, kuna mess. Yes. So kitu uh, kuna mess kuna hostels Jkwat mali ulikuwa eh. sasa uko ina mess. Mimi sikuwa Jkwat. Nilikuwa program ya Jkwat. Yes. Siku hakuna mess, mimi niko kwa mess. <laughs> <laughs> eh, so kulala ni place yako. Chakula wewe ndio unashughulika. Lakini Gikomba ile nifuga. Bro Gikomba ile kwa place poa sana. Kutoka 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 home mm. kwa hiyo environment ya oh, mo, eh, kukuwa monitored. Hiyo eh. <coughs> freedom ilikuwa affectaje ya kukaa peke yako at that age kwanza? Wacha tuseme si freedom sana kwa sababu sasa eh, freedom nilikuwa nayo kutoka nikiwa form 1 shida sasa ni ati hizi vitu nilikuwa napewa free una get ukiwa pale home hata kama tunasema freedom bado unaleta yango bakuli kwa nyumba yako ah una get ukiwa home okay. yeah. una bakuli unashughulikiwa meru mimi babangu si demo na kitchen tangu nikiwa mdogo ujayo na budako kitchen eh. so ukiwa mwanaume huko kazi yako ni kushughulikiwa story ya food ujayo na mzee wako kitchen Sijawai. Wewe, oh, hiyo hiyo ni mpya, sawa. Sijawai ona budangu kiche. Na na, na, na wewe, eh. wewe sasa hii ukikaa nai, eh. ukiwa uku, probably hata umeshamari. Right? Probably. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Unaendanga kiche. Ezo si libidi, sasa inabidi sasa uanze kujifundisha sasa. So kuna so, kuna vitu mingi unapata una at the same time kuna vitu tu fulani una learn. But uzuri sasa nikiwa mdogo pia madhea alikuwa anatuvuruga vuruga so mimi nilikuwa sawa kidogo. Nakumbuka nikijifundisha kupika ugali nikakanda ikafika mahali nikaona acha tu ikuwe uji. <laughs> Does this change the kind of money you are the fact that ume grow kwa place yenye eh. almost illegal mwanaume kuingia kitchen mm. alafu unakuja so inakuwa lazima uingie kitchen. Ina changing mse sana but sasa mimi nilinotesi hiyo mapema na nikaamua sitaki kulingana venye life yangu inaenda na mali inaelekea mm-hmm. ni vizuri nijifundishe hizi vitu na nikuwe open. Okay. Eh. But sasa ndio nimekwambia nikifika Keno kurudi hivyo. <laughs> Utaniona kitchen. <laughs> ah, so so na understand. Naelewa niko Nairobi. Wewe uko Meru part time ama wewe uko <laughs> Wewe uko Meru geographically. geographically. Like when in Meru original kutoka Keno kurudi. Eh. So at Meru ni mtu ataitaka demu kwake mara ya kwanza na yako demu kana expect yo kupika. Kwani kipata vyombo hapo kaoshe. Hiyo kitu ina sounding weird kwanza kwa wase wa Mount Kenya. <laughs> no wait. Eh. Wait kama boys, eh. kama boys. Eh. Una, u, u, it's funny that unasema Meru ataita dem kwake eh. dia kwanza na expect aoshe vyombo. Eh, na so according to you ataandika kitanda. Na ataandika kitanda. Na ikiwezekana ashike mimba. <laughs> <laughs> na according to you eh. dem anafaa kuoshe ya mtu vyombo after how long akianza kukaa huko kidogo akianza so, akianza so kujipata huko between, between now and akakae kidogo wewe eh. unaosha 
akikama na kuja leo na anaishia leo mbona tena unaoshesha mtoto wenyewe vyombo hata ajui kitchen ajui mali umeweka vitu zako okay eh si si wewe umkaribisha tu mpikie so, ni kujua mali umeweka vitu zako <laughs> <laughs> unaweza muonyesha pia uh -huh. eh ndio, ndio sababu unaona sasa zingine wasio na date tribe yao unani get ndio sababu unaona wakale na date wakale <laughs> ni convenience ni convenience Oh, Juu saingine hata hata unaweza kuosana mtu anajua new kaliwa as in ni eh unajua kama mimi nikipata ka kienyeji kameru kana kuja kama kamezoea kukaliwa nyumbani so kakikuja si ati kwake ni normal actually she is happy to do the service now that brings me to a very interesting thing mm. umekam nai mm. au jakutana na kie, dem dem wa kutoka meru eh. dem amezoea tradition eh, right? ka kwanza kaliwa kamjaka How was that? Kalingia kakatoka. Alitoka kwa nini? Yeah, yuko huko. Alikuja ukamwambia washe viombo akati. Hapana, hakuna kitu sikumwambia kitu yote. Nilikuwa naelewa. Sikuwa faala. Nilikuwa naelewa. Siezi siezi anza kukuambia ufanye vitu. Kangekuwa kameru ningekaambia ina witi tamu mmeo sasa ambia into. Unataambia na kimeru. Eh eh. So hiyo ndio convenience unaongelea. Hata mkiko zana mmeru kuteta ni rahisi. Hata mhitaji kuteta. Unamwambia tu hiyo kalizo unaandi. Sasa mshaelewana. Oh, so mhitaji kuteta mimi. Do you actually believe that hiyo hiyo story ya culture ya kuma is it actually true that kumari mse wa tribe yako inakusaidia? Ivenye tu nimesema inaleta kaka convenience. Lakini sasa pia wewe pia kwani unaogopa ka inconvenience tuka lugha na culture kidogo kidogo. Una get? Ah, interesting. Yeah. Yana nimejua mali hiyo jina ya kutupa lugha ilitoka. <laughs> <laughs> Lazima utupe lugha. Eh, eh, na kwa so, experience yako jua. I think ina depend sasa na nini ya mse. Ah. Venye mse anataka. Jua ni bad boy pia. Eh. Wewe ni bad boy na unasema ulikuwa na experience ya ya, ya mjaka aliingia katoka. Eh. Ni outside wa Meru ni watu wa kutoka wapi wengine umeona wako na easy time ya kublend. Oh wenye tunaweza elewana nao haraka haraka. Eh, eh. Kuna wenye sasa tunafanana na kidogo. So kama Wameru na Waluya wa, wa na Wakisi. Ni kama bado hizo <laughs> tribe tatu ni kama zinakalia wasichana equally. Hizo <laughs> zote wasichana wamekaliwa kidogo. Eh, na pia generally speaking hizi community zote eh, ukipata kienyeji real anaelewa anaelewa kukaliwa ni kawaida eh but sasa pia wameru unaweza jidanganya kumbe kumbe ni msichana wa Kakoromone town Meru town ai bro huyo hata atakuchapa huyo <laughs> 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 atakuvuruga mbaya na umesema kutekesha wa Kenya ni ngumu na uko na show yako ina kam eh niko na show na grow up niko na show tarehe nane Uh, this is my first special unajua stand up comedian utaka sana kufanya ka special kake angalau akapange vizuri yes hata kama ni kamoja kwa mwaka so iko dasbayan kiambu road dasbayan inakuwa gapo hivyo mali kiambu road inakutania na northern bypass mm -hmm. so it's, a, it's an amazing place yeah. wewe kwanza unafaa ununue meza 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 ya wasio watano ni 8k meza ya wasio watano mm sawa so, kiki eh. ameshachukua meza yake ama ni tafute triki tukuje naye eh, mnaweza mtafuta mkuje naye naona pia yako na special yake ndio before yake ni ya 31st eh, eh. Muna, so, unaenda kupiga out story ya nini when i grow up even ndivyo show inaitwa pue pia uko rapa mnoma sana eh man eh. <laughs> unaweza unaweza tufungia show na your your, your best verse Jinjia. like mister zako zenye ni oh. matata sana so mtapiga tu clap moja mnajua ile clap ya hip hop ile oh. moja twende jia what's up jia I'm the ONG kwa simu niko na phone ji kabebe na songa na mbiki nji masure kadhaa mimi ni BNG cast money baita murumi yo yo kwani ni yo moja tu eh ni yo si kwa fikira wewe ni yo yo wewe ni yo moja peke yake kuna zingine mingi eh na kila mtu amesema yake hizo ni mingi sana sawa wapi makopi ya Jasper Asante sana follow Jasper Murume kwenye mtandao get more details about his show on kwanza show yake inaitwa When I Grow Up iko 8th April maze pale Kiamburo usikose make sure you check out information kwenye Instagram uh, Twitter na kila mahali but uh, Twitter inanga washamba <laughs> Anyway wapi makofi ya Jasper once more
Asante sana. Thank you. That's it for the weekend edition. See you next week. My name is Dr. Kingori. <laughs>